Okay, so in this tutorial, I want to give you an overview of our admin options area, which has been greatly improved in Boss version 2. So here on the front end, you can get a quick link to dashboard Boss options. And again, in the admin, you can also go to our Buddy Boss area and hit Boss theme. So here, uh, these are, are the main options. I'll just quickly go through everything so you get a sense of what you can do. So to start with, you've got your logo. And let me just pull up the front end. So you can turn on the primary logo and upload something here and it will display right here. And then when if we collapse the buddy panel, you, you can also set a tiny logo to go there if you want. So you can turn that on or off and add a mini logo as well. Now let's go to layout. So the default is this fluid layout, this full width style layout. We have now added a box layout. It's just another option. So if I refresh the page, you can see now we've got this fixed width layout. Let's switch back to fluid. And here we have some responsive stuff. So the way this theme works is basically um, we target your device. So we know if you're running a mobile device or a tablet or a desktop, and we can give a different layout for each, each one. So if I go here and click view as mobile, you can see mobile has a layout that's really optimized for a phone or, or possibly a tablet. And so here you can set the layout that you want to target to a desktop and to a tablet. Mobile will always be mobile. Let's move on to the buddy panel. So the buddy panel, you go back to desktop. The buddy panel is this left panel here in our desktop view. And you can set this to have the default state be opened or the default state be closed for a new user. And you can also set for a logged out user to hide it if you want. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we are logged out. Let me refresh the page. And now that buddy panel is, is gone. So you might only want to use the buddy panel for logged in user information. All right, let's move along to cover photos. So the cover photo is on profiles and groups and also blog posts. We have this cool cover photo area and your users when they log in, they can add their own photo as well. So we have some options. You can turn this off if you want and just put a color in the background. You can set the cover photo size. You can make it small and you can add a default photo so that the way we have it out of the box is that every new user gets a photo at random. We have a, a selection of nice photos. You could have your own photo that you want to be the starter photo for everybody. You can select a field from your BuddyPress profiles to display it up here as well. And then you can, you have some similar options for group photos and blog posts. Homepage slides, I will go over this more in another tutorial video. Profiles, so we've got a lot of options for user profiles. So for example, the WordPress admin bar, the toolbar that runs along at the top, we can turn that on for administrators if you want. And we can control the links that show up in here. And we can also turn on or off social media links and which ones we want to include in a user profile. So if, if I go to profile edit, these links will display in my profile. And then let's move on to typography. So we've added a lot of fonts in here. We have for all the major text areas of the site, you can control the fonts, the font size, weight, etc. And from font family, you can see we have a huge list of fonts, you know, all the popular fonts from the Google font library. And then let's move on to styling. So we have you can change the colors for every major area of the theme. And we also give you some color presets. So these are basically a color scheme that determines the starting point to make it easier to keep, to really customize it. So this is running the default. Let's go ahead and try Starfish. Okay. So now I've got Starfish selected and you can see that it looks really nice and we can come back here and customize it further. Let's go to footer. So the footer is the text that goes down here. You can change that text if you want. And you can also add social media links. So here you might want to add, I'll just put a fake link here, but in real life you would add the link to your company's Facebook account or any, and you can reorder them, you know, any of these. And if you refresh it, you'll see we put an icon that will go to that link. Okay. Um, admin login. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to turn the custom admin login screen off for a moment. 
and you'll see for a logged out user, it's just the, what you're, you're used to in WordPress. Now we can turn it on. And now it's going to be using colors from the site and we can actually go ahead and adjust all those colors and we can even upload a custom logo, which will sit right here. Custom code, so we can add a tracking code for like Google Anal Analytics or Mixpanel or something. CSS, you can add custom CSS, custom JavaScript that will load on the theme. Optimizations, you can set CSS and JavaScript to minify so things load a little bit faster. And then we've got a list of all of the plugins that we recommend potentially running with BuddyPress and you can activate right from here. Support, you can uh, watch our tutorial video videos right here from the admin and we've got some quick links to areas on our site that you might find helpful. And then this here is really cool. You can actually download and export of all of these admin settings and save that and then at any time you can reset this, the admin here and then import that file and what will happen is um, all of those admin settings will be added again. So you could use this for example if you were to migrate your theme to another site or if you want to interact with our support staff and show them the options you have you can just export that file and send it to us and we can take a look. So that's the admin area here and then one other thing I should show you is the customizer. So we have built in support for the native WordPress customizer still. So from here, you can do some things like you can go to add logos here as well, and you can set a favicon, which shows up up here and on a mobile device like an iPhone. And then styling, you can actually change all the colors I showed you before here as well, and you'll see them preview right here in, in this preview window. So for example, the buddy panel background is blue. Let's change that to hot pink. And you saw the preview right here live. I can click Save and Publish. And there we go, it's pink. 